if we look at the top of the swing, there's three positions that the club can be in relative to your hands. The club can be what they called cross the line, so that means the club head is closer to the ball than my hands are. There's what they would call online, where the club head is in line with my hands, and then there's one what they would call laid off, or where the club head, my hands are in one arc and the club head's a little behind. Is there a better one to be in? Well, let's just talk about what happens to each one. So if I get down here on the ground, and I put the club in what we were calling as a cross the line position. So the club is on this side of my hand, so it's like this. So if I put it here like this, and if we were gonna try to swing from the top and hit a ball, this line here represents where the handle is gonna go. So when we know the handle doesn't swing at the ball, so it's gonna swing down inside the ball. So if I take this handle now from the top and I start it down, where's the club head wanting to go? Well, just because of weight and momentum and force, all of a sudden now the club head is falling back away from the ball. So now we've got a club head that's up here and we start down and the club head has fallen back here. Now, can you play from there? There are players and we'll show you in a minute what that swing looks like and the shot you can maybe play. All right, so now if we get to the top and the club head is right in line with your hands. So now it's right dead in line with your hands. Okay, so now if we take the handle and we just go like this, obviously the club head doesn't do anything. It doesn't go out at the ball. It doesn't go away from the ball. Well, we need to hit the ball. So that's how this is gonna happen. So if it's up here and it's right in line with your hands and you just start down, I mean, the club's just gonna come right there. That's where the momentum of the club is going. So you're gonna have to try to do something with it to get it out to the ball. All right, so now if we take the last one, which is the club slightly laid off, and it's really not laid off, your arms are swinging in one arc, the club head swings in another. So now it's sitting here. Now what's gonna happen when this handle starts down? Well, if the club head's back there and the handle starts down on this line, where did the club head wanna go? Well, it wanted to work back in line and then it goes out. So now if it's a little laid off and the handle starts coming down on line, the weight of the club head is wanting to go out to the ball. That would probably be a nice problem to have as the club head moving out towards the ball. So, if we take those three moves, so if we take the first one, most of the players who have played from across the line, when they come into the ball because the club wants to fall behind their hands, they then have to catch the face up. So most of those players play a draw because the club is gonna get way back in here coming a lot from the inside. Now, to go straight back, and it's right in line with your hands and starts down, that's probably gonna play itself into, who knows, could go either way from a shot pattern, but it's gonna look more like this. So now that person swings up and the club's right in line with their hands and it swings down. I would say you see more guys that are doing that playing probably a little fade but you can kind of play either one, but I have to really push the club out. So when it starts down, the club's wanting to fall right in line with my hands. Well, my hands aren't swinging at the ball, so something has to start down in there to push the club out. Now the last one is the club is a little laid off, or as you swing back, the club head, my arm's swinging one arc, the club head is swinging in another circle, so it gets behind my hand. So now the minute the handle starts down, the weight of the club is trying to line itself up with my hands, but because it's coming from back here, it ends up working itself out in front and back out to the ball. Now that one, you're just directing momentum and you start it down and the momentum takes the club right out to the ball. Club a little laid off, handle starts down, club head goes out and it's just gonna move right out to the ball. If you're using momentum and you want to direct it and not get in the way of it and do the least amount to make it work, that's probably the best way to do it. So when it comes to players, if we go old school, newer players, cross the line. Tom Watson played from a little across the line. So Watson played from a little across the line. The club would drop underneath. And then what he would hit was he would hit 
he'd hit a slight draw because that's how the club worked. It worked under and he'd turn it over. Flip side, you take a Sergio Garcia. Sergio gets the club, which you would call lay it off, but what happens when he starts down, the handle comes down and he whips the club back out in front of him. So it goes from laid off to back down out in front of him. And he hits a lot of different shots. So I'm not saying that his swing is better than Watson's, but that's kind of what you see. You're seeing more and more clubs now, if they're anything, on line to laid off than cross the line just because of the ease of using momentum.